In this video, we're going to write a C program to find the third angle of a triangle when we're given the first two angles of the triangle from user input. So the three angles of a triangle must add up to 180 degrees. So we get the equation angle 3 plus angle 2 plus angle 1 is equal to 180 degrees. We can rearrange this equation to solve for angle 3. If we move angle 1 over to the right hand side, we get 180 minus angle 1. And if we move angle two over to the right hand side, we get 180 minus angle one minus angle two. We can actually change this now to a C statement. We'll put a semicolon here and we'll have angle three is equal to this value here, 180 minus angle one minus angle two. Next, we can actually prompt the user to enter in angle one and angle two and store the values they enter into variables we create for angle one and angle two. So we'll have double, angle one, angle two, angle three, to create our three angle variables. Next, we'll prompt the user to enter in angle one. We'll have angle one colon, and then we'll use scanf to store the double value the user enters into angle one. Then we can prompt the user for angle two with another printf here and angle two colon. Then we can use scanf again to store the double value that the user enters into the angle two variable. Then we calculate angle three, and then we can print out the result. We'll say printf angle three colon, and we'll output angle three here. And then if we save, compile, and run our program, we can enter in angle one as 45, angle two as 45, and we get back angle three is 90 degrees, which is correct. So this program right here will solve the problem. One thing we got to be aware of though, is that right now we're not doing any input validation. So if we run the program again and enter in, let's say 200 for angle one and 400 for angle two, we get back that angle three is negative 420 degrees, which doesn't make any sense. So we could check to make sure that angle one and angle two are actually valid before calculating angle three and outputting the result. So angle one and angle two both need to be between zero and 180 degrees. So we could check for that. We could have if, angle one is greater than zero and angle one is less than 180 degrees. And then we'll have an and and we'll check angle two. We'll check to see if angle two is greater than zero and angle two is less than 180 degrees. One more check we should do is we should make sure that angle one and angle two when added together are less than 180 degrees. Because if they weren't, angle three would either be zero or negative, which wouldn't be valid. So we can check for that too. We'll have in angle one plus angle two. And we'll check to make sure that when both of these are added together, that the result is going to be less than 180 degrees. So if all these conditions are true, then angle one and angle two are valid. And in that case, we'll calculate angle three and we'll output what angle three is. Otherwise, we'll output an error message. We'll say else printf angle one and or angle two are invalid, followed by a new line. We can save, compile, and run our program. And now if I put in angles like 200 and 400 for angle one and angle two, we get this error message that angle one and or angle two are invalid. Performing input validation like this can help our programs to prevent errors from occurring. So this is how we can find the third angle of a triangle using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.